Good morning, folks. We're starting with Sinabung, the volcano that slept for nearly 400 years, erupted in 2010, and has continued to erupt. Locals evacuated as the eruptions continue to get bigger, ash falls complicating it, and pyro flows are visible as well. Top weather watches for the Philippines as the weaker storm has moved on to hit Vietnam on the left. A super typhoon is about to become the third major storm to hit the Philippines in 10 days. Let's hope for all the best for those in the line of fire. They brought some buoys back online, flanking my favorite one. There are minor deviations already. Noah sharing their new gadget called Noah View. Now when you go there, there is a tour video if you need it. Fairly simple explanations. Lot of metrics you can pull up. Lot of different time scales and the ability to set it all in motion. Should be fun to get this involved in the research and modeling moving forward. By now, many of you know we took an X3.3 solar flare last night from that same group we gave focus yesterday. You can plainly see here on the STO views, there is no major CME, not by a long shot. Now every X flare is going to pop some ejecta, but this will be minor. According to Cactus, the CME looks a bit more moderate than minor, but Almost all of it is going south, with the fastest bits coming nowhere near Earth, and they would have slowed significantly by the time they reached 1 AU. Now, the current Enlil spiral at 5 AM showed a pre-X flare CME from another eruption that day, same group, so it's not a bad gauge for the X flare either. A glancing blow is technically possible, but again, it would be minor, small, and might not even catch our shield at all. Definitely nothing to worry about on this one. In fact, this is still pathetically small for a solar max uptick. The X6, for example, that we took in 2011 is not considered a big time solar flare. And that was twice as energetic as this one with 10 times the CME. People ask if Ison is making the sun flare. This is the weakest cycle in 100 years, even with this uptick. Ison's not affecting the sun in that way, not yet. But if you want to point out a change, it's weaker flaring compared to everything else we know about the sun. Anyway, back to real science. You remember our delta hunt yesterday morning. It appears necessary once more. Now, as of today, the developing umbras behind the leading positive could be mixing within that penumbral group. But for now, the story is still the backside large umbra, both positive blue and negative red umbras within the penumbral group. Now, I'm not calling out an X flare from this region, and nor did I call one yesterday. But the Delta hunt is the hunt for a potential to pop X flares. And if it happens again today, that backside portion is likely to be the culprit. Well, it looks like the coronal and umbral magnetic temper tantrum is finally ending and calming now. It wiped out all power to nearly nothing from the earth facing position. And the quakes took the day off. Still have a few uptick signal locations and an always relevant uptick near the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. Switching to satellite view, you can see where historic landslides have taken place there, likely the cause of some east coast tsunamis in the past, and for me, probably a greater threat than the Canary Islands. Corona Hole is facing Earth today. Shots of our star and the weather to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.